Oh my gosh. Hello, this is a McDonald's Grimace milkshake. And this is last night. Hi, do you have uh, Grimace milkshakes? Unfortunately, no, it was only a week long promotion. So if you didn't know, Grimace was one of the characters from McDonald Land. I think that's what they called it. It was like the Hamburglar and obviously Ronald McDonald, all that kind of stuff. And he was like this big purple blob. Now to celebrate the 52nd birthday of Grimace, quite close to getting his McPension. <laughs> They brought out for roughly a month in America uh, this temporary berry flavoured purple milkshake. Canada also did it earlier in May this year for a temporary run and in the UK right now, McDonald's as a whole, not just Grimace, it is their 50th anniversary, so they also temporarily did it. However, I missed out. Can I get a nice coffee at all, like a latte? You know what, it might surprise you, but as a middle-aged man, I'm not really that disappointed about that, especially as an account I followed on Instagram called UK Snack Attack posted this. They kind of do like mythical uh, foods that don't exist, so we are gonna try and create this actual image. That is a Grimace meal involving a latte, it looks like an iced latte, a purple burger, and then also purple french fries. But my trip was justified because if we can make purple fries at the end, I've got a legitimate box and I did actually buy uh, a latte which I've kept in the fridge overnight. We'll probably do that last. I think out of everything, it's the thing I'm most comfortable about, but I think we need to nail the buns first. Let's go. So that's water and milk. I quite like doing that with my dough sometimes. So this needs to be warm to help our yeast. That's going in the microwave for about 45 seconds. And I'm just dumping on a sachet of yeast. And then we've got some sugar here just to feed it, to help it. You can see already, this is starting to foam and bubble. So that yeast is getting to work. We'll leave this for about five minutes. So whilst that yeast has been doing its thing, I've prepped some of the other ingredients and also reminisced about one of the only magic tricks I know. So let's grab an unnecessarily large mixing bowl. Plain flour, baking powder, salt. So this is quite vibrant. This is sweet potato powder, also known as yam powder, because I think it's another name for a sweet potato, isn't it? So this is ground up sweet potato powder that has got an incredible, is it violet? Are we going violet, are we going purple? I don't know. As long as they're purplish, okay, purplish. If Prince released the song Purple-ish Rain, it would back me up right now. As you can see, the yeast has got a heck of a head on it. It's like Guinness. So I'm gonna add about like half of it. Whoa. But I also found this blueberry food coloring online. This is generally blueberry extract. That smells more like nail varnish, but the flour, to be fair, does actually smell like sweet potato. Yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with that. All right, so that is nice and sealed by better. And actually already you can see just a little bit of that warmth in there. How about starting to get a little bit cloudy? It's already starting to work. We want it to double in size. So I'm gonna put it in a nice warm spot next to the- <gasps> What the heck is that? Yep, here's some that I made earlier. Let's all do it together. Let's all make our own grimace. Grimace actually means an ugly or distorted facial expression. McDonald's, what should we call this friendly purple milkshake loving character? I know, grimace. <clears throat> but, that is looking beautiful. It's puffed up it's fantastically. I should just make one massive bun, but I'm gonna divide this dough up to let it rest a bit as well. Yeah, so just to show you before I let them rest properly, um, I would say four of them, I've gone slightly more flatter. Now I might regret that, but for the buns, remember two parts of it, the middle bun, which to be fair, I could just trim a rounded one anyway, and the bottom are flat. But this one here, and this one at the back here, I've sort of like clawed them, like kept pincering them. Whereas these ones, I did the same, but patted them down. So hopefully you can see the rounding there. It'll be interesting to see what that happens once they rest. And that's taking me so long that our other dough is ready. So I'm gonna have double the amount to play with. All right, so on this tray, I've got a mix of the ones we did first of all, and uh, the second batch, which was slightly larger, and they have actually increased in size. This is good. So you might be wondering why they're on pieces of baking parchment, and this is partially your fault. On the recent Kitchen Gadget video, I found that hot dog steamer. I talked about like doing a whole video on that, how steaming is amazing. I wanted to steam the buns. So, in here, I've got four of them, okay? I don't wanna get upset, but I've only got two tears. <laughs> we are gonna steam the buns. But first, this is our chance to decorate the tops. So just a little bit of water. And then, I completely forgot my making a Big Mac, sesame seeds on top. Part of me is wondering whether it's actually gonna taste of sweet potato. The color is looking fantastic. A whole range of shaping sizes too. I did mull over putting little pieces of blueberry, or maybe some dried blueberry in there too, but I just think the extract and the color is enough for that. So whilst my oven preheats, on the hob here, in my wok, I've got a little bit of water to help generate the steam. Those buns will be much more tender, so it's gonna be interesting to see the comparison. 
I actually really want to do more steaming videos. I know it's not probably the most exciting thing. Hey guys, do you want to see me do more steaming videos? But I've done very little of it and I actually really like it. I loved making bow buns in here. And we're just going to leave a little bit of a vent there for the steam to go up through. We keep it on the heat. So it's bubbling away now for 25 minutes. In the oven, it should take about 15. Plus with that, unless I try and peep through there and steam my eyeball, I can't see what's going on. And of course, more of the traditional baked. We will find one that works. Whilst I'd love to have a coffee right now, have a little bit of a break, it's nearly lunchtime, but we can, I feel, we can at least make the Big Mac sauce. Just scraped some mayonnaise into here. There's loads of different variations of Big Mac sauce. So this is one that someone sent me recently. I was like, oh, I'm gonna try this one. So paprika, garlic and onion powder, vinegar, salt, gherkins. I only like gherkins because of McDonald's. I think that's like maybe half the world. Shimmy and mustard. And apparently this mixed together Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually really close. All right, the buns are done. We've had some interesting results, but I think we've got something. Yeah, these are the other ones I've just taken off uh, the wire rack. It was really easy to lift them off. And you can see like one or two of them, like this middle one there has got some feet on it, which isn't a massive problem, but the bigger one, this one here and that one together are gonna be absolutely perfect. All right, let's have a look at these then. Oh, wow. They look really vibrant in comparison really tender they've actually split slightly but fluffy and this is the oh my word <laughs> look at that one. Oh. oh, as much as i love it hmm we've got two there that could do a job but i think i'm going to stay with the baked ones just to be sure but it's a fun experiment and these will get eaten cold McDonald's fries. I think there was a video where someone left these for ages and they still look the same or something. I've got a couple in the box here just to help me get roughly the right dimensions. I might make mine slightly thicker, just so they're a bit stronger, but we've got to make them purple first. So for now, we've got some fairly innocent potatoes about to be softened up so that we can mash them. Fairly normal, right? Now, the one thing I don't want to add in is moisture. I want to try and get it to grip and hold together. So this is some corn flour. We're going to add some of the blueberry flavoring, which of course is a little moisture, but there's hardly anything really in the big scheme of things. And also purple food dye. This in a minute should go really floury and dry and horrible. But as we work through and break it down, I can even see it already. Look at that. I can see, <laughs> but I really want to keep it as tempting as it is to add milk in there. I really want to keep it as it cools pliable. So it's got some strength in it so we can shape it into the fries and even cut them into that shape. It's working really, really well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Behold, this is a load of purple mashed potato. This is a McDonald's French fry uh, for scale. Use a rolling pin to get it nice and thin. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Grimace, you got squished. If I just hold this one up to you. Yeah, they are really, really delicate. I hope these fry okay. I've got a lot of fries to make, um, so I'll see you in a bit. This is how they make them in the factory, okay? So I'm just starting to get tuck warmed up. These are what they look like. This is either gonna go one of two ways, but first, buns. This is the same mix uh, and the difference between baking them. Look at that, it's almost made it like light pink, hasn't it? Whereas steaming it, that true color has stayed in there. So I'm gonna halve this because I've got another one here. Look how vibrant they look. If they hold their shape, we are using these. So if I aim, Oh, it's going through nice. Taking my time. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. We are doing this, we are so doing this. Looks like a red lettuce when you cut it in half. Look, that's our middle section. Right, we'll toast all of these face sides. Oh my word, this is amazing. That is absolutely bonkers. Look at that. We'll still have this though. So just charring those cut face sides, the top, the bottom, the middle one, I've actually trimmed both sides. So I'm gonna toast either side of that. Nothing too crazy, look, just like that. A very strange day. It's blooming fun. So now we know the rough shape of the buns that we're using. Ooh. I've got two beef patties here that I've seasoned with salt and pepper. I've made them slightly bigger because they tend to shrink a bit, but that's looking pretty good. Oh. 
Boom chica, wow, wow. So I'm gonna go for this. There's about 10 in there. 160C. Is it all gonna turn into mush and float everywhere? Or are we gonna have purple grimace fries? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I haven't even got kitchen towel ready because I was not thinking it was gonna work. Here we go. purple fries they have held their shape they're staying as one that is amazing right I've got loads more to do <laughs> right that's enough as well it's a really basic bodge but if you want your chips or fries to taste like McDonald's ones that's literally all you need there we are proper Grimace fries. Right, so last up, I've just put the fries and the burger patties in a very low temperature oven just to keep them at least like room temperature-ish. We're gonna quickly make the Grimace latte. Completely legitimate story. For this recipe, I've ordered some cups, some latte style takeaway cups uh, online. And the only ones I could get was in a minimum packet of 50. They've not arrived. And then last night when I ordered uh, the fries, I also got these that drive through, which I can basically use and send back the others. So this was like a caramel frap. And this indeed was the latte, which is actually really lightly colored. That does give me hope because I've got some super strong purple dye that we can get this to catch. So cold coffee. And this out of everything we've done today is the thing that's gonna possibly worry me the most because look how dark that is. I'm just adding some ice anyway, but some of that will be in the glass. Uh, I've got some sugar here. We'll get our blueberry extract again. I wasn't planning on using this as much. For now, it's all about this. So I'm doing one part coffee. Oh, there we go. To four parts milk. Looks like a Guinness that's been poured wrong. I'm gonna slowly add in some of this extremely strong food coloring, which, oh my gosh, look at that already. This stuff, you don't normally need that much, but because it's already got a little bit of the coffee in there, I'm gonna put in a fair, oh my word. Oh my word. There we go. Oh wow. But they don't class it as purple, they call it violet. But even despite all that colour, we've still got the coffee in there, the milk and the sugar. That is, by all accounts, a grimace latte. Let's have a look then. That is coffee. Remember that? <laughs> this is not a drill. That is coffee. Blueberries here. I'll tell you what, I should work for McDonald's designing their menu. Look at that. That is our Grimace latte. And I actually don't think I'm gonna Grimace drink in that. I might be when I'm trying to get this food dye off my fingers. All right, should we try and make a purple Big Mac? Here's our base that's been lightly toasted. Our sauce, which is uh, chilled. A little bit of our chopped onion. I've got some iceberg lettuce here. <laughs> and a load of purple dye on my fingers. Brilliant. Slice of cheese. Oh, wow. A beef patty. Some gherkin slices. Our middle bun, which is getting sauce on it. Onion again, lettuce again. I'm sure this time it's then the pickles and then a beef patty, oh my word. And our lid is just getting one more coating of that sauce, which feels like we made years ago. It's been a long old day. That goes down on top. Let me just try and stack that up so it looks a little bit straight up. I can't see it too well, but that actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> that is about to fall over. But that is a Grimace purple Big Mac. Absolute stonk. And that bun is held together. Right, let's look on the screen, remind ourselves what we were trying to achieve today. And boy, has this been fun. We have achieved the Grimace Big Mac, which looks quite pretty, actually. Speaking of pretty, there is our Grimace latte. Loving the blueberries on top. And last but not least, our Grimace fries, <laughs> which do not want to stand up on their own. What a day. Look, it's absolutely, absolutely bonkers. Um, I've not had any lunch, but I don't know, it's been such a little, like marathon that I just want some fresh air and an apple. I'm not really hungry, but we will try this now. This is absolutely legit. Uh, look. Uh, I don't think French fries are designed to have that much in it because when I'm holding it up, it's tipping. I'm just trying to take a photo with it for my thumbnail. So uh, there's a little bit of a delay, which means it's all gonna be freezing cold. 
Yeah, sorry, Patreon sees stuff like this all the time. Yeah, it's broken. Sorry if I've mentioned Patreon a fair bit, but they generally do support the channel. And a lot of you guys, I didn't even know, you say about Patreon Vlog Club, what is that? It's like, it's kind of like a Truman Show version of the videos, if that makes sense. Ah, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm holding a ramekin in place. Oh my gosh, that does look amazing though. Well, I was keeping it all nice and warm, but <laughs> by the time I'm taking photos with it and just given my reaction of visually seeing it lined up, it's pretty cold. Burger, I don't mind, but I mean, the fries, I should have tried one earlier. Whoa, it's not warm, but that has that tastes so like it. It's got the crunch, it's got the soft middle, they're thin enough. Just adding that salt on there makes it taste like McDonald's fries. Right, let's try this, gee. Oh, the buns feel so, where is this going? <laughs> but they feel like really soft. Wow. That's a Big Mac, all right, blimey. <laughs> Right, let's try this. It does look like it should be like a fruit drink, doesn't it? Well, it is. Nope. <laughs> nope. That is actually really nice. Oh, I got a little blueberry then. That was amazing. A burst of explosion-y fruity blueberryness. I think out of the three, that's my favourite for the simplicity. That's really nice. I genuinely think they should sell that. I mean, they sort of did with it being a milkshake. Other than the way it's prepared and the coffee being in it, there's probably not too much of a difference between that there. That's really nice. The fries are really good, really fun, and there's loads of ways we could go with that in the future, maybe. And the Big Mac tastes identical, but I think my favorite learning today is actually the buns, the glossiness, the shine on that. If I was to line them up, and I have to be honest, that's how I would probably sometimes in the past normally do stuff like that, rather than steam it, like the difference that. Like these would pop and this one would be like, yeah, like inside you've got that colour a little bit more, see, that's better. But it's the actual steaming that has kept that colour throughout it and given it, almost the milk does support that a bit, but like a real nice soft, delicate, like pillowy sponge, but it is strong enough, I was worried. As it cooled down, it got stronger, we sliced through it, we toasted it. What a fun video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember I've done like some black recipes, I've done clear recipes over the years and whoever knows what colors are coming up. I was gonna do a green Big Mac, but I saw this and it completely took me down a grimacing journey. What fun we had today, question mark. See you later. <sighs> Patreon, oh my word, what an intensive video that was. The kitchen is an absolute bomb site. Um, one thing I haven't done actually is tasted the bun, so maybe uh, I'll do that in just a bit, but uh, that has been, I feel like I should have worn a purple t-shirt today. It's been quite full on. It's been purple everywhere. There is mess everywhere. I need to clean up before Mrs. B and the kids get home. In fact, should we try some of that right now? Let's, let's, let's do that.